Why is my left ball short? My right ball is a bit long. LOL. <laughs> okay. Today, I'm answering medical questions that you are afraid of or maybe a little embarrassed to ask your doctor. Yep, that's right. You guys are always flooding my comment section and sliding into my DMs asking me some really awesome questions. Also, I'm not gonna lie, some of the questions can get a little bit um, curious or strange or interesting. But before we get into it, I'm Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an emergency room doctor who treats everything from COVID to gunshot wounds, burns, you name it. I created this video series to help answer some of your medical questions and the questions that I get from patients each and every day. If you find this video helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe. Let's get into some of your burning questions. Well, hopefully not burning, yikes. Just a question, what I was thinking is popping slash cracking our bones healthy? I'm cracking my neck, my back, and elbow so many times and it just feels so good. Cracking joints is typically okay. There was actually a crazy cool study, really small, by a doctor that spent like his whole lifetime cracking one hand and then not cracking the other and then did x-rays to see if there was any damage and there was nothing that showed of that. Sometimes we ask like, what is the popping noise? Sometimes in the joints, like in the hands and your knuckles, it could be a little bit of like a, a air pocket, like a bubble of air if in the joint and it pops, that's why it doesn't re-pop. Typically it doesn't happen in your other, all over your joints and your neck and your elbows and your back, that sort of stuff. Those are okay. So sometimes we can be a little misaligned and it's out and it feels good to get popped back in. There are some dangers. If you're too aggressive, you can cause potential dislocations of the joint and potentially uh, ligamentous or tendon injuries. So just be careful. Hey doctor, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. I just wanna know that if a 14 year old does deadlifts, can it stunt my growth if I do it in the correct position and technique? Also, keep up the amazing work. Well, thanks. But this is pretty much a myth. With adolescents, our growth plates are open. So the concern is could you injure or inhibit your growth plates in any which way you don't. As long as you're using proper technique, not going in any abnormal movements, twisting motions, that sort of stuff, continue to lift, lift in proper form. And if you have a passion for weight training and weightlifting and powerlifting, get after it. I got a question. I know that caffeine is supposed to make you stay awake and somewhat productive. When I drink coffee, I feel sleepy or tired, and so does my father. Is there a reason for this? Yes, there could be a reason for this. So it all depends. One, if you're drinking coffee with sugar, you could be having a sugar crash after, so that's pretty simple. What ends up happening is you're blocking the receptors of adenosine, so you're more alert, but what happens is your body is still making that adenosine. So when the caffeine wears off and the re receptors get open again, boom, you get a really big rush of adenosine, which then makes you feel tired. Also, caffeine and coffee basically is like a diuretic. Diuretic meaning it makes you excrete water out of your body, which in turn will cause dehydration and then dehydration can cause tiredness. Hey doc, I have a question. Why is my left ball short? My right ball is a bit long, LOL. <laughs> okay, all right, good question. One testicle potentially will hang lower than the other. Sometimes it's the right for people, sometimes it's the left, and they have their own nerve, blood supply, spermatocords, all these different things. You can actually even have different size testicles. It is normal for it to be asymmetric in how they hang in your scrotum, and it typically changes, right? So when the temperature changes, your scrotum sucks the balls kind of tight inside because it has to do with temperature regulation and that the sperm basically want to live in an environment and be made in an environment that's a little bit cooler than the 98.6 degrees that our body is. Make sure that if you have any pain, get it checked out. If you feel any lumps, get it checked out. Weird question for you, why do I sweat so much all the time? So there's something called hyperhidrosis, basic meaning you're sweating excessively in a situation where you typically wouldn't be sweating. About 5% of the population has this disorder, but you actually can go see your doctor and there are different treatments that can be done. This includes like topical medications, oral medications, low electrical type treatments, as well as different surgeries. And then again, changing things in your environment and just making sure that there's no secondary cause for these things. Make sure that you see your doctor, get this diagnosis first before you try to self-diagnose too much, just to make sure that you're not having anything more serious going on. My dad's girlfriend says that she never farts, but she has the most impressive burping skills that I've ever heard. Does she actually not fart? Typically people who say they don't fart are 
farting when they go to the bathroom. When you go poop, you have gas buildup as well. You relax your sphincter muscles, everything kind of opens up and whatever's in there comes out. You can't avoid farting. You can't just poop without farting. Sometimes you can have a buildup of gas and you let them out so you just have a little bit less gas. Make sure that you're passing gas, burping, farting, let it out. Better out than in. Hey doc, I swallowed a bunch of pebbles and screws as a child. Will they hurt me in the future? Well, typically not, okay? A pebble, a small screw. The screws you gotta be careful with because they're sharp, so you worry if they're gonna puncture something. Non-sharp and smaller than a certain length, typically we won't go in to go get them. You'll just pass it through your digestive tract and they'll come out of your body. Now, if they're larger than a certain length as well as concern for perforation and they're still in your stomach, a gastroenterologist will actually emergently go down with an EGD or upper endoscopy and go in and retrieve it. Hey doc, Effective remedies for weight gain. The first thing you think of of wanting to put on weight is eating more, but you also wanna eat more of the good stuff. So you wanna eat things that are nutrient rich. What I mean by that is you don't wanna eat massive amounts of salads all day long because the caloric content is really low. Remember, even though this might be an old statement, normal energy expenditure is 2000 calories. So if I eat 2000 calories, but I'm burning 2000 calories a day, I'm net neutral. But if you have less calories, over a period of time, you're potentially gonna start losing weight. And then the flip side, if you're having more calories that you're ingesting in versus what you're burning, you're potentially going to add potential fat or even muscle. That's a basic, simple way to think about it, but it is obviously more complex. Hey, Dr. Wagner, are you friends with Dr. Mike? I'd love to see you collab with him. Okay, good question. I've seen this come up in a lot of my comments about Dr. Mike, so I, I checked it out. So Dr. Mike is a family medicine doctor who has a YouTube channel as well. So yeah, that would be totally awesome to do a collab with another doctor, even really interesting because he's a family medicine doctor and I'm an emergency medicine doctor. So doing a collab, seeing different videos and getting our different perspective on our experiences because we're different specialties. We deal with a different type of patient population and we deal with different type of medical ailments in a different kind of spectrum. If Dr. Mike or any other doctor in this space wants to do a collab with me, that'd be awesome, right? It'd be fun to watch. And of course, it's all on the benefit of the viewer to entertain you guys and to educate you as best we can with the knowledge that we have. All right, that's been some thought-provoking questions or maybe questions you didn't want to ask with me. Dr. Wagner. Let me know in the comments if you have any other medical questions or topics that you'd like me to answer. Maybe I'll include them in the next video. Please make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. When you do that and you hit that like button, you let YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.